Hello YouTube, I'm going to start a new series of recordings that has to do with Lego stuff. Anything you can think of? Lego Technic? I might have it. Now, to launch things off, I've got two Lego Master Locks here. Uh, one, the one I built six days ago, another one five days ago. This one took me a little longer because I did not know what I was doing. This one, since I did know, took me a lot quicker. Let's start off with the big one, the one I knew first. Now, as you can see, there's eight little knobs. And you might think one knob means one spoke, and if you line it up, blah, 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 it'll end up to match. Not true. For every one and a half of these, there's one. So it's not eight. It's one. Now, if I enter the code, which takes a while, there's one, the bright orange. And one, two, three. Then one, two. And it pops open. And you're able to latch it onto your desired object. Lock, open, lock, open. Now, this is how it works. Like my little logo there. Yeah. This is how it works. This latch is connected to all these three spokes, which connects to the little knob inside. This spring keeps tension on this so it pops out. This spring keeps tension on this so it pops back. I pop it, it just comes right out. Push back, locks right back. So just one, two, one, two. Really simple. The gears on the back took me a little longer to build, but I finally figured it out. As you can see, there's one slot, and then there's another slot. Simple. Piece of cake to build. Just make sure you got a lot of those pieces. I do not know what it's called, but it's just a simple pull gear that you can probably find in your house somewhere. Now. Moving on to the second one. This one is a lot smaller. You might wonder why. It's still a combination lock though. And it broke a little. That's fine. I'll be right back. This one has combinations that are a lot smaller. You line up the first one, and you line up the second, and you're able to pop it. Locks open, unlocks. To show you the actual mechanism. This mechanism I had to redesign completely because it's a lot smaller. This shaft pushes that out to make sure it does get out. There's a spring that keeps that tension. You might have noticed that spring is connected to that gear, so keeps that tension there. Now, to show the actual technical aspects of these, the first lock that I mentioned, this one, that one has six cogs on a wheel. So you write six. This is how you figure it out. Then how many wheels do you have? Well, the other one, the old one, it has three. So I write three. What's three cubed? Three cubed is 216. That's how many combinations. That's how many combinations you're supposed to have in that bigger one. Now the smaller one's completely different. It has the same amount of cogs, but it's only on it only has one less. So six squared equals thirty-six. That's how many combinations that one has. Well, 
you might think, well, that's pretty lame for combination lock, but keep in mind, this is Lego. You can hack into it with a hammer if you want to. Now, you can just break it open if you want to, but I don't want to. Now, this is the amount of wheels you have. This is the amount of cogs on wheels. Now that is the equation. That's what you figured out. Cogs. And then how many how many is it? How many wheels you got? It's cogs and the wheels. Whatever cogs times the power of the wheels. That's how you get your big number. Now, I hope you enjoyed this first video. I'm going to make another one pretty soon, hopefully. School just started, so I might not be at it as much as I would be if it wasn't in the summer. But, hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, and subscribe.